So today I thought I would tell you the do's and don'ts of Disneyland. What you want to take, what you don't want to take, and what you want to do. Let's get right into it. Ha <laughs> Oh boy! One thing you want to make sure that you have is sunscreen. Sunscreen 30 to 50 is usually what I choose. I have sunscreen SPF 50 right here. Because the California sun is hot and you don't want to burn, so make sure you bring sunscreen with you. Make sure you take water bottles into the park with you. You don't want to get dehydrated in the hot California sun. Now, if it's your first time going to Disneyland, I would suggest buying a guidebook because they're super helpful. They're packed full of useful information. They tell you where the best restaurants are at nearby, the best hotels, savings, rides. It talks about everything that you need to know about Disneyland before you go so that you can be prepared for the thrill of a lifetime. You also want to make sure that you bring your shades to protect your eyes from the hot California sun. Bring a backpack to carry all your stuff in. Usually about a medium sized backpack is fine. You can't take in huge backpacks or camping backpacks into the park, so just keep that in mind when you're picking out a backpack to take with you. Usually something that's big enough to hold your camera and your phone and your water bottles and maybe some snacks. That's usually about the right size that you want. Wear breathable clothes. So tank tops, light shirts, short sleeve shirts, and shorts. Those are all a must. Wear clothes that you don't mind getting wet because there are rides at Disneyland where you can and you will get wet like Pirates of the Caribbean and Splash Mountain. And sometimes Small World, even though Small World, you don't get too wet. It's usually just a few sprinkles. Now, Disneyland snacks can be expensive. It is expensive. So what you want to do is you do want to bring in your own snacks, like goldfish crackers, Velveeta bars, stuff like that. Maybe some sandwiches, but only if you're going to eat them fairly soon after you enter the park because they will get hot and smushy and you don't want that in your bag. So a good idea is to bring your own snacks into the park. Goldfish crackers, Velveeta bars, granola bars, any of that kind of stuff is perfect. You can stick it in your backpack, it's not heavy, and you can snack on it throughout the day if you bring enough. Make sure you bring your camera or your phone will work so you can take wonderful selfies and pictures with the characters and the castle and the fire station and there's so many things at Disneyland that you can take pictures with. So make sure you bring some kind of a camera so you can capture the memories. Bring hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is a must. You don't know what little kids have been putting their mouths on or their hands on. You don't even know what the adults have been putting their hands or their mouths on. So just bring hand sanitizer with you. It's smart. You don't want to get sick, so bring hand sanitizer. Another thing that I find is fun to take to Disneyland with me is an autograph book. An autograph book is a little book that you buy and you take it around to the characters like Donald, Mickey, Minnie, and you have them sign it. It makes for a wonderful memory. Another thing to keep in mind when you go to Disneyland is souvenirs. Everybody has their own idea of what they want to take home with them. Me personally, I like the mouse ears, but there's so many souvenirs throughout the park. What I would suggest though, is if you see a souvenir that you really like and you think it's gonna be the one, buy it when you see it because you don't know how many people are gonna be going to the park that day and they're gonna think, that's the one, that's a souvenir I wanna take home. So what I would do is I would suggest buying the souvenir that you want when you see it just to make sure that you have it and so that you can take that memory home with you. Okay, now let's go to the don'ts. Don't take in huge strollers with you, they're not allowed. You can get rentals in Disneyland but I would suggest bringing a small stroller. Those are allowed. Don't bring in scooters, don't bring in tricycles, motorcycles, bicycles. Do you like my flow? <laughs> when bringing stuff into the park, just be smart to do with what it is you're bringing. If you question it at all, there is a section of the website that tells you what you are and are not allowed to bring in. Just be smart, use common sense, Another thing you're not allowed to bring into the park is alcoholic beverages. You can buy alcohol in the California park. Do not wear costumes if you're an adult. Don't do it. If you're an adult, you are allowed to do something called Disney bounding, 
where you dress as your favorite character with their color scheme. You dress as close as you can to that character without actually being in cosplay or a costume. A good example of Disney bounding would be if you were to Disney bound as Emperor Cusco, you'd wear a red shirt, a gold necklace. If you have pierced ears, you would wear blue oval earrings and black pants or gold pants would work. I don't even know if people use these anymore, but do not take a selfie stick with you. It will be confiscated and I'm pretty sure you won't get it back. When you're on a ride, do enjoy yourself. Don't stick your hands outside of the vehicle or in front of the vehicle. You can probably do this if you're on a roller coaster. <laughs> but don't stick your hands in the water of Pirates of the Caribbean. Just be smart. Watch your little ones. Make sure that they don't do things that they shouldn't be doing. And if you have a little kid, for the love of God, do not take them on Finding Nemo's submarine voyage, for they will scream and everyone will be having a bad time. Another thing to do is if you see someone who's a janitor or a custodian or even a cast member, cast members are the people that are dressed fairly normal but they have a name tag, ask them about their day. It's just nice. It's a nice thing to do. Be polite. Thank the janitor or the custodians for cleaning up the park because they're the whole reason that you're having a nice time because the parks are clean and there's virtually no garbage around. That's what you want. That's what you want to experience. So make sure that you thank those people for their hard work. Another thing that to do that's just common courtesy is try not to curse because there are a lot of small children in the parks and they don't need to be hearing that. I know, they don't need to be hearing that. So that was my do's and don'ts of Disneyland. Ha ha ho boy, ha dog. <laughs> Have a magical day. Hi, I'm Pacific Northwest. If you liked that video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more. <laughs>